It looks very medical, doesn't it? Like in the like brown glass bottle with a little stopper. Okay, so it's definitely a highlighter, but it's very liquidy. And why is it in a hand gel thing? Ooh, Fenty skin. That's interesting to me. This is Jen. ASMR. Subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there. My lovely, lovely festive sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are all well. In today's video, we will be unboxing a number 19 in all of these little calendars. We're really getting close to Christmas, guys. Almost on the 20th. When you get to like the 20th, you really start feeling the Christmassy kind of mood, you know. I love it. Okay, so let's start off with the glossy box as per usual, and then we'll head on to Blissine. And kind of least actually the tea. <laughs> okay, on the glossy box. And the glossy box. It's quite a nice big product today, but it's not a full size. If you watch these videos regularly, you probably already know what this is. It's quite common in these boxes. <laughs> it's one of the rituals shower foam. Cans. Not my favourite. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't like the texture of these foams. I feel like they don't lather really nice, and the scents are pretty strong. But this one is sweet orange and cedar wood. Well, maybe I wouldn't mind the scent of this one. I don't know. But I know in general, rituals are too strong for me scent-wise, but yeah. I know a lot of you like them. This will be getting popped into the EB boxes. It feels like a very Christmassy scent, doesn't it? Sweet orange and cedar wood. Energize your soul. The ritual of myrrh. Rinse, continue. Wait, hold on. I'm not talking about it's in your eyes. I was going to say why. They're shiny, shiny packaging though. Very pretty. I feel like we see like the red and um, dark green versions most. This is a nice kind of orangey gold. Okay. So not so bad from Glossy Box. Good, just not good for me. Um, okay, let's move on to Belisim for today. We have the bottom corner of one of the archways. It's quite like it's not super heavy, but it's pretty weighty. Let's see. Oh, it's a little dropper. We love glass bottles with droppers, guys. Is it? Oh, it's so nice. It looks very medical, doesn't it? Like in the like brown glass bottle with a little stopper. Mira, I like Mira for their um for their scents and like their hair oil. Oh, I love their hair oil. Carrot de Caraib. Carrot of the Caribbean. Rousseur de thym, l'huile de carotte des Ardennes. What? <laughs> Carrot oil? Um, okay, it's for the face. To like give you that nice um, halo kind of glow. Get you ready for the sun. So you apply it to your face and body. A few drops. It gives you a little boost. Gives your um, skin a little boost. And gets you ready for the sun. What does it mean by getting you ready for the sun? I don't 
don't really get it. I guess it's just like an oil for the face, for the body, a few drops to give you a little boost. But I don't get rousseur de teint. Like, I kind of get it in French, but in English, I don't know how I would say it. Like, boost, I guess. Like, a booster seat is called a rousseur. <laughs> so, yeah. Boost your teint is like your... I guess it's kind of your like the color of your skin, but it's not really. Yeah, we're just gonna go with a nice healthy glow. I'm not sure if I would use this. <laughs> um, my face doesn't take too kindly to oils, but this is very interesting. I'm gonna keep this for eBay boxes. It's pretty cute and it's fun. I like that it's called Carrot of the Caribbean. <laughs> Such a silly name. I like it. So let's move on to the French box, the beautiful box. And we have something for the fourth routine, routine number four, illuminant. So something to illuminate. 22 euros. And what do we have here? Step three, une touche de lumière pour briller de mille feux of light to shine like a thousand fires. Is this going to be, hmm, if it's makeup, it's definitely a highlighter. What's this? Oh, what a strange little pot. Usually the downtown Paris stuff is in like a tube. Is this like a highlighting fluid? It looks very liquidy. Like it's super liquidy. Concentré en lumineur. Something concentrated. Une goutte de ce produit, de produit à déposer sur les zones qui captent la lumière pour obtenir la lumière. Atteint la lumière. Okay, so it's definitely a highlighter. It's very liquidy, and why is it in a hand gel thing? Like hand gel packaging. <laughs> did they, was that like a choice they made, or did they just like not have the same possibilities for packaging as before? Like maybe they lost contact with one of their packaging people or something. Okay, nothing else. Why am I getting nothing out of this? I feel like it makes a bubble each time and then I go, don't get any. Okay, let me just pour a little on my hand. I'm just gonna have to be careful. Okay, I got a little drop. It is very liquidy and a bit shiny. I mean, is it? It seems very liquidy to me. Like, I feel like this would be like for collarbone and shoulders and stuff like that, not for your face, because it's very liquidy and like faint. Yeah, I think this is going to be a collarbone type product, or maybe I should like shake it up first. Yeah, let's shake it first. Okay, after shaking, is it more pigmented? Let's see. No, it looks the same. Okay. Well, I have a nice shiny hand, but yeah, it's very subtle. Maybe because it's so watery. But why are they called it a concentrated highlighter if it's so watery? Well, my hand is nice and shiny, actually. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a collarbone slash shoulder kind of highlighter for me. Cool. Okay. Um, I like this actually. I like the fact that it's just a bit different from the other highlighters. I think I even have the tube of highlighter from them. I might at some point get both of them out and <laughs> kind of see what the difference is. Something is just slightly odd about it, but I mean it works. It's fine. Still a highlighter. Okay, so let's move on to my little And with this stripey packaging, I 
do like the um, the design of the My Little Box one. And now that it's kind of emptying, I'm really looking forward to using the um, the bag that it came in more than like actually the the stuff in it. I'm like, oh, I want to use the bag now, guys. Okay, what is in here? See the lid of something. Oh, is it toner or something? Ooh, Fenty Skin. That's interesting to me. It is Fat Water. <laughs> That's such a cute name. Fenty Skin Fat Water. Pore Refining Toner Serum. Use day and night on clean skin. Apply over face with fingers. Oh, I would have done it with cotton. Okay, day and night. Toner. Let me just pop some on my hand. I wanna... I wanna smell. It's not really smelling of much. I can feel it on my hand. Nice and refreshing. There's not much scent to it though. Okay. I actually am quite happy with that. <laughs> Fenty does seem like a nice fancy brand. Okay, so my little box are kind of creeping back up. I mean, they were pretty behind with all the stationery and stuff. But yesterday's and today's are kind of cool. I was not expecting a Fenty product from them. Okay, so let me grab everything back and have a look at everything all together for today. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, I actually like this day. It's a pretty nice day, guys. Day 19 is a good one. I'm, I feel like maybe from now on they're all going to be good. Because like tomorrow's going to be 20, 21, you know. I hope they're all going to be good from now on. Okay, so the Rituals Foaming Shower Gel is a good product. It's just not for me. I just, I can't do the scents. Although the sweet orange and cedar wood sounds nicer, but it's probably still too strong for me. Then the Mira Carrot Oil <laughs> is pretty cute. I just, I wouldn't put that on my face just because my face is not up for oils at all. But somebody I think will enjoy this. Then the DWTN Paris Highlighter is just a little strange. I feel like it is the same product, just waterier. I mean, my hand is nice and shiny, but like, you know. I'm just going to use that on my collarbone and shoulders and stuff. And then the Fat Water from Fenty Skin. I love that it's called Fat Water. Yeah. Pore Refining Toner Serum. I like it. It doesn't smell of anything though. Yeah, I can't get any scent out of it. Okay. So two, I'm definitely going to use and two for eBay boxes that I'm sure somebody will highly enjoy. Yay. <laughs> okay, so for me today, My Little Box won. Twice in a row, My Little Box won, guys. That's cool. They're, they're slowly, you know, it's coming back a little. <laughs> okay, so what um, is the most interesting to you guys? Is it number one for Glossy Box with the foam? Is it number two, really seen with the Mira Carrot of the Caribbean Oil? <laughs> That's cute. Is it number three, Beautiful Box with the Watery Highlighter? <laughs> Is it number four, My Little Box with the Fenty Skin Toner? I think this is probably the most 
let me grab the tea for today and we can start our cozy blanket scratching outro. Yay, it's a good day guys. <laughs> so all four products were fun and nice and the tea is my favourite one. So day 19 is definitely a winner. It's a lovely, lovely day. Rhybus and peppermint. Has anybody else tried rhybus and peppermint before? It's lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So that is everything I have to show you for today. It was a lovely, lovely Have, you noticed a little difference in your guys' calendars too? I feel like yesterday and today have been really good and I feel like it's just gonna ramp up until Christmas. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Not for the tea ones because I've already got my favorite in the last six so I know I won't get another. <laughs> but for the beauty ones I feel like it's just gonna ramp up till Christmas. Okay. So I hope that you enjoy this video, that you found it relaxing and fun and interesting. If you're looking for any extra content from me, link down below in every single one of my videos is my Patreon and my two other channels. I don't post a lot on my other two channels, but it is worth being subscribed. <laughs> I think so. I hope you all go over and subscribe. And we're having a lot of fun over on Patreon. They've had early access to all of these advent calendar videos. They got to see which calendars I bought way before you guys did. <laughs> They usually see things before you guys and if I'm ever like doing a new thing or trying out something new they always see it before you and I get their opinions. They're like my little sounding board. It's cool and they're super nice. Okay so if you made it to this part of the video I would like you to put a little stocking emoji. I guess it would be like a little sock, wouldn't it? Rather than a Christmas stocking. Try your best at making a Christmas stocking out of a sock. <laughs> and you can just pop that in with your normal comment. Just let me know which one was the best for you today. Or if you are too too sleepy. You can just pop the emoji in there by itself. I know what you mean. Okay. So, I hope that every single one of my festive sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever is happening around you, you celebrate Christmas or not, I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are in Sicily, Italy, like my lovely, lovely patron, Gilda. Hey, Gilda. I hope you're well. Thank you for all of your lovely, lovely support. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely 19th of December. <laughs>